Hello, everybody, and welcome to Perspectives. Glad you could make it in on this hot, but not uncomfortably hot, August afternoon in Oklahoma. Justin Shrimshire is our first guest. Justin is the Chief Program Officer with Boy State. And uh, Dr. Mark Racer yes, with, uh, with RSU. He's uh, administration and uh, finance here at RSU, and the two are married, and we're going to get into that a little bit today. Justin, first of all, for the benefit of folks who might not be familiar, and I can't imagine what rock they'd live under, but what is Boy State all about? How did it start? Where did it come from? Sure, Boy State is an organization that uh, was created by the American Legion. The American Legion is a veterans organization that was uh, founded after World War I, and it was uh, created on behalf of veterans who returned from World War I and were needing the um, uh, care. Well, shortly after that, uh, globally, we started fighting communism, and that ideology and philosophy started to creep into the United States. And there were summer youth programs that were around in the uh, early 1930s. And uh, on the face of them, they looked like they were very similar to Boy Scouts. Um, and they were starting to rise in uh, uh, popularity. Uh, parents were sending off their kids to these uh, summer camps where they would learn uh, different survival skills. Um, but the, the heart of the program was communism. And it was an ideology that was being planted into the minds of, of young men. And the American Legion was very aware of what we had just fought in World War I and, and what it, the direction it looked like we were heading in just a few short years in World War II. So to combat and to counter that, uh, they created uh, a, a, an Americanism camp. And uh, this, uh, it, that became known as Boy State. And then uh, every state has their own Boy State, uh, whether you're in California or Texas. Uh, and Oklahoma's was created in, the, uh, I believe, 1935, somewhere around there. Well, you know, both of you will understand what I'm about to say on this, but our republic, in spite of the fact that you and I may sit here and say, well, we've been around for a long time, we haven't been. Right. We're a young group of folk who fought for our independence mm -hmm. and won it and, and trying to preserve it and hold on to it and pass down the heritage baton from one group or one generation to another is difficult sometimes at best. I think we have some video from, from last year we're going to roll in uh, while we talk a little bit about it. These are the young men that, uh, that, that came to Boy State, I believe, last year. Yes, sir. And uh, how, how did they figure in? And, and Mark, I'm going to go to you on this. How did, how did they tie them in to RSU? Well, Boy State, Oklahoma, American Legion Boy State had been at, uh, at another campus for about 35 years, and, uh, and that's where I first encountered Boy State. It was about 12 years ago, and uh, the more I was around the program, the more impressed I became with the program, and, and I consider it to be the finest men's leadership camp, uh, men's leadership program in the state, possibly in the nation today. So when I left that institution and came to Rogers State, um, I started looking around and I said, you know, Rogers State, Oklahoma Military Academy, uh, four-year university, uh, newer dorms, better facilities, this would be a great place to bring Boys State. So, so I reached out to, to Justin and, and the other leaders and said, come take a look. And they gladly did because they were looking for kind of an update. They came and spent a couple of days on campus with me and the decision was made to, to make the move from, uh, from uh, the previous institution to Rogers State. And it's just, it's, a, it's, a, it's the best of the best. Again, the Oklahoma Military Academy tie-in, the local legion was very, very supportive. Uh, President Rice and the administration very supportive. The staff uh, very supportive. And it, it was a great week and, and we are honored to have them and look forward to having them for a long time. We're tickled to death to be a part of it. It's Absolutely. Just, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a real star in our crown. You bet. Uh, all the way around. I've always been under the impression, however, that the young men in, in, in Boys State were, you know, the cream of the crop. They were the, the, the academically, they were achievers. They were achievers when school was not in session. Is that a true read? 
Uh, yes and no. And the reason I say no is I was a delegate in Boy State <laughs> in the year 2000. This is a true story. I was not cream of the crop, but a teacher saw something in me that I didn't see in myself, and I got selected to the organization. I was not at the top of my class. Uh, I was not in any sort of athletics or any sort of leadership program at the time. Um, but they, uh, like I said, they saw something in me that I didn't see. And when I came to Boys State, it lit a fire in me that I had never had before. And when I returned to school for my senior year, totally changed the, tra the trajectory of my senior year, totally changed the trajectory of my life. So what we look for in Boys State are leaders, someone who has that capability, who may not even know it about themselves in the moment. Um, but yes, to, to answer your question, absolutely, it is the cream of the crop that's here. Um, in, the, in the years that I've been associated with Boy State, we've, uh, my own personal experiences, we get delegates that leave here and are, they go to West Point. They serve on statewide campaign elections. They, uh, uh, one, of the, one of the delegates I'm most proud of currently works for a TV station in Oklahoma City as a meteorologist. So they leave here with an engagement in their community, in their state, and their government. And uh, uh, so, yes, we, we look for the cream of the crop, but we also look for the ones that have potential that they don't even see in themselves. It's an amazing thing to me to realize that you could pass these young men on the street, and unless you interacted with them, you wouldn't know mm -hmm. the difference between this young man and anybody else. Now, these kids are going to end up going through mock elections too, aren't they? They are. It's called uh, Oklahoma Boy State for a reason. It is their state to run. Uh, there are adults on staff to make sure that they're not doing anything that they shouldn't be doing, but it is entirely run by the delegates the minute that they step on campus. Uh, whether they realize it or not. Uh, the very first night, the, 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 when the students arrive, they are blocked off into their own cities. And that city will interact with itself and, and work as a unit for the remainder of the week. And on the very first night, they're electing a mayor for that city, someone to lead them as an individual city. Um, and from there, they will run for everything from county sheriff and police officer to governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, uh, and, and if they uh, run for position and aren't elected, uh, they can also be selected by the governor to serve on his cabinet. Uh, they will serve in a House of Representatives. They will serve in a Senate. And they will actually sit in those chairs. A hundred percent, yes. Yeah. And they will make very real decisions with, uh, with uh, um, immediate ramifications, not only on the city, but on Boys State overall. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a very interactive organization with, with, with real implications on the decisions that they make on a daily basis, and it's changing, and we do that to them intentionally so. We don't want them to f feel like they've got it figured out. This do you all hear from these youngsters after they go on in life to do other things? Like you mentioned, one that's headed for West Point. Yes, sir. Uh, will you hear from him? Will you hear from others? And yeah. have you done so in the past? And that's one of the great things uh, that social media is a wonderful asset to us today that I didn't have when I was a delegate. Uh, through social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, you're, we're able to, to keep in contact with these delegates and, and see the trajectory that they take after they leave Boy State. Uh, a couple of, uh, of my delegates I've brought back on staff. So, and we're still friends through, through that, but absolutely we maintain relationships with these boys long after they leave uh, our, our camp for the week. And we need to point out that just because these young men are involved in the political side of the state, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get into politics no. when they graduate. Absolutely not. They get a heavy, heavy dose of, of civic, certainly, and, yeah. and the political circle, but they also get a, a heavy dose of, of Americanism. I think you called it patriotism. Mm -hmm. They learn about, uh, about service. They learn about military. They learn about uh, police, fire, all kinds of areas of service. And, and remind me, the, the week that changes a life? It's the week that shapes a life. That shapes a life. And yeah. we have a lot of our delegates. Uh, that's one of the first things that they might reject when they get here is they they aren't uh, a fan of the of the political side of it of the uh, government side of it but boy state is more than that we have athletics uh we we have uh, uh division one division two athletes that come through our 
our organization as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a leadership program. It's not just a government program. It's right. a leadership program. Uh, so they're going to learn about teamwork. They're going to learn. Uh, it's going to be a character building week for them. Uh, a lot of our delegates will leave here and go into the military. Um, so, and then a lot of some of our delegates will just go back home and be better than they were before they uh, got it's here. It's safe to say, when they've got Boy State on their resume or their college resume, it's going to help. Hundred, especially specifically for uh, for young men who want to go into the military academies. When they, when, uh, when they see Boy State on their resume, mm -hmm. it's straight to the top of the list for these young men. I, I'll tell you how much RSU believes in the program. We're offering about $12,000 in scholarships to any delegate from Boy State who wants to come to Rogers State for four years. No kidding. Yeah, we'll give them $500 tuition waiver every semester and a $1,000 housing waiver every semester if they'll come be students of ours. That's how wow. much I believe in them. That's, and there's other that's scholarships a, and there's as well. Available. Yeah, the Samsung Scholarship, $500 yeah. scholarship, also yeah. available through the Samsung Scholarship uh, provided at Boy State oh, as well. That's a great program. It is. Hey, listen, thank you both. Thank you for taking time to come in. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for your involvement. You bet. And really appreciate you coming by and visiting with us today. And no wasps in the studio. <laughs> no wasps in the studio today. Thank, thank you for you the time. Thank you. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more right after this.